Hello everyone, this is Namrata. In today's session, we will be discussing another important topic in Salesforce called as a Salesforce Live Agent. We will discuss how does this Live Agent help in interacting with the customers directly. This is one of the most important tool provided by the sales force that can interact with the customers and resolve the issues directly. There may be companies where the support team is very minimum. In those scenarios, Live Agent can play a very important role and can support them and can provide great customer satisfaction. Before Live Agent, when we raise a customer service ticket, we have to wait to get a response from them via an email or we were waiting to get a call connected to the customer care representative. Now with the help of this Live Agent, there is no need to wait for such longer duration. Customer can directly interact with the agents and get their questions answered. This Live Agent makes a real great difference and help in resolving the customer issues in a better and a faster way. There are various advantages of using this Live Agent. Agents can handle multiple chats at once and drive down the customer cost, makes customer happy and end up in getting a positive feedback, customer focused and resolve issues faster and quicker, improve customer satisfaction. In order to enable this Live Agent in the Lightning, we need to configure the Omni Channel. In order to understand how we can go ahead and configure this Omni Channel, you can refer my previous video which is related to how to configure the Omni Channel in the Lightning. Now, let us understand how we can configure the Live Agent. There are various steps involved in configuration of the Live Agent. Step 1, enable Live Agent. Step 2, assign chat users or create users and assign them chat user access. Step 3, assign or create Live Agent skills. Step 4, configure Live Agent configurations. Step 5, configure chat buttons. Step 6, configure Live Agent deployments. Step 7, go ahead and create a Visual Force page. Finally, step 8, modify or create a console application. Now, let us take a look at all of these steps in detail. Step 1, how to go ahead and en enable Live Agent. So let me open up my Salesforce uh, developer org Lightning. So from the setup, from the quick find, search for chat. At the first, this will be disabled. So let me quickly disable it. Okay. So this is how it looks like. Go ahead and enable this. So when you enable this live agent, you can see that the API information, chat API endpoint information is automatically populated. Click on save. The second step is create or assign the chat users. Chat users are support agents and supervisors who have the support Salesforce permissions to assist customers with the chat. So this is, you can, let's take a look at one of the example, one of the user. So from the user profile, you see something called as a chat user, which is enabled. This means that this particular user have access to go ahead and chat with the customers. In certain scenarios, you see that the chat user will not be available, will not be shown up. The reason is because the organization doesn't have enough live agent uh, licenses available. So you have to ensure that you have proper licenses available so that this chat user is made visible to the users. Step three, go ahead and create or assign the live agent skills. Skills identify our agent's areas, as areas of expertise. When you assign an agent to a skill, that agent receives chat requests that are related to the agent skills area. So based upon your requirement, you can go ahead and create uh, different skills. Skills could be, it is if you want your agents to concentrate on the technical, technical support issues, you can create one specific skill or technical support. If you want your agent to concentrate mainly on the development issues or soft IT related issues, you can create a skill type two called as a IT related issues. Uh, skill type uh, three, like any um, mechanical or any other ad hoc request, you can go ahead and create a skill call as a skill three call as an ad hoc request. So based upon your company requirement, you can go ahead and create different skills as needed. So let's see how we can go ahead and create our skills. So from the uh, quick find, search for square skills. So under the chat, you can see skills. 
So as per uh, as per the requirement, I'm going ahead and creating three different uh, skills based upon the languages. One is English, French, and Spanish. For the first time, um, you have to click on the new button and go ahead and create a skill. But since we already have the skill created, let me open each one of them and show you what all I have created or updated. Skill name, give it as English. Um, developer name, available users, who and all are the users available. Ensure that those are all selected and put under the selected users. Select the profiles that have this particular skill. System admin and click on save. Same is the case with French, same is the case with Spanish. So likewise, we went ahead and created three different uh, skills, English, French, and Spanish. So now let us go ahead and take a look at the next step, which is configuration of live agent. Search for chat, chat agent configuration. For the first time, you have to click on new and create a chat agent configuration. What should be the name of this chat? Live agent chat. I've given it as live agent chat. Developer name is auto populated. What is the chat capacity? It is something this option sets the maximum number of the chats an agent can engage in simultaneously. Since we have um, this live agent in the lightning, we also have to ensure that we configure this omni channel. Omni channel was already configured in my previous um, session. So if you remember in the previous session, we went ahead and set up this presence configurations wherein we have given the chat capacity. So that is what it is mentioned over here. It's all been, since it is turned down, the chat capacity is managed through the omni channel. Sneak peek enable, it is like uh, if you want this option, you can go ahead and enable this. This option lets agents see what visitors are typing before they send the messages. That is important. You can ensure you can give this option available for the agents. Request sound enable. If you want an audit sound, audio sound, you can give this. If you want an audio sound for the disconnect, you can enable this. If you want the desktop notifications, you can go ahead and enable this. Any specific uh, name to the agent you wanted to give, you can go ahead and give a specific name. But in our scenario, it is not needed. Any auto greeting, you can go ahead and update any uh, greeting message. The rest of all is uh, self-explanatory. Auto away on decline, it is basically automatically change agent status to away when they decline or chat request. So all of this is not really needed. Assign users. So from the available uh, set of users, select those users which should be part of the selected users assign select the profiles for this configurations and here you go with the supervisor settings this is how you can go ahead and configure or um, configure the settings for your supervisors chat monitor enabled whisper messages enabled agent sneak peek enabled all of this you can ensure that you can enable it or if you don't want it you can disable uh, these configurations all the skills which we have created, English, French, and Spanish, from the available skills, you can move it into a selected skill. Chat conference settings. This is something, it lets your agent invite other agents into the customer chat. So if you enable this, an agent can allow or invite another agents into your customer chat. What and all are the settings that has to be given for the chat transfer settings, how an agent can transfer the chats to the other agents, all of these is updated over here. If you wanted to go ahead and enable it, you can go ahead and enable all of those. Chat transfer to the agents enabled, skills enabled. What and all the skills that we have created, English, French, and Spanish, you can go ahead and move it into the selected skills. Chat buttons, this is something which we'll be creating in our next step, like um, chat buttons. So once after we create that, you have to come to this particular step, chat configuration, chat agent configuration. And under chat transfer settings, you can select the button which we have created that is live agent chat using the Omni into the selected chat button. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and create different chat buttons so that uh, 
customers can request a charge with the agents directly from our website. This is the charge you can create. Click on new and click on and create a new chart button. I went ahead and created a chart button called as a live agent chart using the using Omni. Uh, there are various types of, uh, there are two types of chart buttons. One is chart button and automated uh, invitation. In this uh, tutorial or in this session, we will be discussing about a chat button, which is most commonly used type of uh, chat button. And there are various types of uh, routing type. Uh, we have something called as a choice, least active, most available, omnichannel queues, omnichannel skills. Least active, most available is all of these is something which we have discussed in my previous uh, session related uh, to the omnichannel. Uh, this is something in this uh, session we will be concentrating mainly on the omnichannel queues. Um, we went ahead and created two different queues, uh, high priority cases queues and low priority cases. So based upon the requirement, you can go ahead and choose the routing type as omnichannel queues and give the queue name as high priority cases. And um, if you want to give any auto greeting, you can go ahead and give an auto greeting for this particular chart button. All of this is not really needed and click on save. So you went ahead and yeah, two types of chat buttons, different types of routing uh, type. Here we are describing about what is the least active, uh, what is most available. So we went ahead and created the chat button. So when you click on, once the chat button is created and when you click on this chat button, you see that the Salesforce has generated the uh, uh, chat button code automatically. So you can take a, you can copy this particular piece of code and uh, use it. We will be using this particular piece of code when we go ahead and create our uh, visual force page. You can copy paste it in our VF page. Now, when you come to the deployments, chart buttons, let's come to the deployments and create one. The next step is chart button deployments. I'm go going ahead and creating a deployment name called as a live agent chat. So I'm giving a chat window title as live agent via the Omni channel. Allow visitors to save the transcript. Yes, I want the visitors to download it, allow access to pre-chat enabled, I'm enabling it. If you want any branding images, you can use this. If you want a chat window branding image, all of this can be customized. You can go ahead and make certain changes and uh, choose it. Any company logo, if you wanted to give any company logo, all of these is something which you can do it in this chat deployments under chat window branding. But at this moment, I don't want to have anything. I'm keeping the simple. So let's come and save it. So once you create a chat deployment, you see that a JavaScript is automatically created. Salesforce is automatically populated a JavaScript for you. So whatever the information, whatever the code we have seen it in chat buttons and invitation, that piece of code along with the one which is in the deployments, you can go ahead and create a visual force page, add both of those code and create a visual force page. So let's see how we can go ahead and create a visual force page. So from the quick find search visual force pages, I have created a visual force page called as a live agent via omni channel this is a visual force page which i have created i just copied the code from the chat buttons invitation section chat button code and also copied the one which is in the deployment that is a deployment code and i have created a visual force for myself this is the way which through which you can go ahead and create your visual force page so now imagine you have a website 
and uh, you wanted to place this um, you you are creating a new website and uh, you wanted to have a feature like whoever logs in into your website they should be able to see a chat uh, window or a chat button available and uh, if customer wants they can click on that particular button and as soon as the customer clicks on it a uh, chat should be initiated with the agents automatically so that is how so in this scenario we went ahead and created this visual post pages and whenever an a customer clicks on this um, chat button a live chat initiate gets initiated between a customer and the agents so we will see how we can go ahead and do that so from the visual post page click on uh, preview but before doing that let's come to our console so this is our service service console and you have to ensure that you are making yourself available from the omni channel mark yourself as available so you are making yourself as active available and then come to your visual post page click on preview so here you can see online chat with agent so imagine an agent is seeing this particular uh, button whenever he open up any website and he clicks on it when he clicks on this online chat with an agent a new window open up and in the salesforce side since we have made ourselves uh, made an agent is made himself or herself available he should be seeing the chat getting initiated and getting routed to him or her so let's see how does that work As soon as I as as soon as a customer go ahead and click on this, an auto greeting has been sent to the customer. Hi there, thanks for reaching out. Someone will connect with you shortly. Thank you, Namrata. So an auto message is being sent to the customer directly. Now, when you come to the Salesforce, you see that a chat is automatically shown up in the agents console view. Now an agent can chat with the customer. Hi, how can I help you? Same is this is how the customer views it. I need help to check my account. Hey, Raja. Once then, the same is being shown up. Yeah, if you see, uh, you can see this is popped up, and I need help to check my account. Okay, sure. Please tell me what's the issue. So now when a customer sees that, okay, all of his or her questions are answered, then customer says, thank you. And then agent can go ahead and end the chat. That is how a live chat is being initiated between a customer and a agent. And all of his questions or any issues he has or she has will get answered then and there. So this is how we went ahead and implemented the live agents in an in our organization. Now let me go ahead and end this. Are you sure you want to end this chat? Yes, I want to end this chat. So this is this window gets closed. This is how we have implemented the live agent, and this helps the customers to interact with the agents directly. And it will help to resolve the cases in a faster and a quicker way, which will provide you a greater customer satisfaction and improve the customer or that rating. I hope this video has provided some information about um, how you can go ahead and configure the live agent, what is a live agent, and uh, what and all of the different advantages of using this live agent. Thank you so much for watching my video. If at all you have any questions, you can always reach out to us or write down any question, queries. Thank you so much for watching.
have a good day. Bye-bye.